Hey there, Campy here. Anybody tired of, you know, packing up a lunch just so you can take it to work and either unpack it or try and throw it into a fridge just to keep it cool until lunch? Or what if you don't have access to one of these bad boys? And even so, maybe you do have access, but you don't have time to put it in here. And what else? What if you get to one of these things and they're just too full? And you can't fit your lunchbox in there. Everybody else's crap's in there, right? Well, I have the answer for you. Maybe. I'm here to review this bad boy. This is the Yeti Hopper Flip 12. Let me turn it around so you can see both sides. And I've come to discover that this is the best lunchbox I have ever used. And I'll say ever used is because I've used this for almost two years already. Yeah, you heard that right. This is not a brand new, uh, fresh out the bag, Yeti Hopper Flip 12. This bad boy is over two years old. And I have used it every single day, Monday through Friday, uh, multitudes of Saturdays, uh, for an entire almost two years. Additionally, I've also used this guy on vacation trips um, for any type of activity where I needed to go away for maybe the day or a couple of days and I needed to keep something cold. Sure, there's plenty of reviews on the Yeti Hopper Flip 12 uh, when somebody's purchased this product uh, right out the bag, brand new, maybe a week or two of use, but how about a review of one that's two years old? All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the, uh, the basic review. Uh, let me just give you the basic facts and information related to this, and then at the end, I'll go ahead and give you uh, my interpretation of this Yeti uh, after two years. So uh, exterior dimensions, as you can see, it's listed above is 11.5 by 12.625 by uh, 10 inches. That's the exterior. Interior is 9 by 11 by 10. Uh, it has a 12 can capacity. That's the reason why it's called the Yeti Hopper Flip 12. Uh, some people thought it was 12 liters or different nomenclature for whatever, but basically it stands for that it'll hold 12 cans with the proper ice to can ratio mixture. It is comprised of the cold cell insulation uh, inside, and it's quite thick and quite pliable. Also, it can hold 15 pounds of ice, only ice, not mixed with cans, just 15 pounds of ice. It weighs 3.1 pounds empty. The price, let's talk about the price. It's $249.99. That's a bit expensive, but it's expensive. It's expensive. It's $249.99. The pros, the ice can last about three days. And I will tell you, I've pretty much confirmed it. Uh, there is uh, a point I want to add to it and I'll talk about it later so let's just talk about the pros but there's some subjectivity to the ice retention capabilities. It has a compact design and it will fit basically in many places that a larger cooler would not. Um, back seat of your car, it's easily transportable, it's lighter weight than a full-on uh, maybe a full Yeti uh, cooler. Uh, the weight uh, is is 3.1 pounds. It's easily transportable, as I said. It's not that heavy. Of course, the weight of the, the, the lunchbox, the food and product and whatnot that you put inside will make it a bit heavier, but it's still, again, very easily transportable. As I said, this has been my daily driver for lunch uh, for almost the last two years, and I carry it into work every day and out of work every day. Of course, it's lighter when I go home because there's less food in it. So as I said before, uh, I mentioned that it's got easy cleaning. It got easy clean. It's easily cleanable. Uh, very smooth surface here. Uh, wipes down very easy. Uh, never seen a, a mold uh, or any type of fungus or gunk growing on it. Wipe it down, you're done. It is, again, related to the HydroLock zipper here that we said, it is leakproof. And the biggest point I think for me, using as a lunchbox, other than its ability to stay cold for a long period of time, is related to the Yeti Hopper, which is a large mouth. This guy has a very large mouth, easily accessible opening. What are the cons? What are the cons? What are the cons? According to many reviews, and even in my own experience, this has happened, uh, the ice didn't last three days. 
Now, because this is my daily driver for lunch, I don't care about three days, but when I do go on road trips and I wanna keep something in here for a couple of days, uh, you do have to concern yourself about the ice uh, retention. I will again explain later about the ice retention and something that I've discovered. So if you continue on and wait, I'll get to it. The zipper, the zipper is actually a bit difficult to open and close, vice versa. More importantly, and especially when you come back, let me get this flap over here. You might be able to see it over here in this camera, is this small section right here, this, this hydro, this lock section, um, it's really hard to get that to lock into place. Uh, it's difficult. I mean, it's it's a hydro lock. It's a it's a leak proof zipper. It's supposed to have this great capability, and it's a bit difficult. I will say, I will say that it comes with this little tube of wax that you can put on there, for which I have not done in quite a few months. Uh, but this thing is in this portion here in this dock where it's locked. It's a bit tough, but as soon as you get past that. Okay, it's, uh, it's still a little more difficult than, than most coolers, and I will tell you this, that uh, with this, um, if you expect that maybe one of your hands is full and you try to open this, you're going to lose. You're going to have to set it down, you have to use two hands. Hold on to it and use a zipper. One of the things that I found in the reviews um, as one of the negatives uh, related to this, and let me back up and state that all the reviews I've looked through I wanted to keep a single source, um, so all my reviews basis on my pros and cons are based on the uh, Amazon reviews. So, the cons, uh, one of the things I found, and I'll show some pictures here, is a couple uh, of people in reviewing this product said that their zipper had broken. And in the YouTube reviews, there were a few, not a lot, but a few, that had issues with the zipper um, individually the teeth would either break off or they would actually rotate. Uh, it's hard to explain but you'll see in a couple pictures how it looks when the teeth are kind of messed up. Uh, I have not had that issue. This is not me saying that this is a con for me. Uh, this is currently not a con uh, for me but I want to give you fair warning that people have found that there are some issues with the zippers. I will say that when you review the other coolers um, you have some uh, better things that you find some of those coolers than you do if you're looking at just this guy by itself. So while I love this thing as a lunchbox and, and carrying uh, all my food, I sometimes will carry maybe I want to go ahead and take my keys, maybe a uh, wallet or, and I'm saying sometimes, a lot of times my wallet's on me, but you know, you name it. Maybe I need to take my watch off when I'm at work or I need to take something and put it in here. Where do I put it in here? There are, if you look at the review and some of the photos, you can see here, there are no external pockets. Now, what they do have is these little molly hooks right here so that you can add another product. And I will show you, and I will review this later, that one of the cons was, for me, is that I had to add this guy. And this guy is $50. But, and there's more to review. I'm not going to say much about the butt and what, because I'm going to review this independently. But one of the nice things about it is, is it's quite large. I can put a notebook in there. I've got some of my wires uh, for charging my iPhone and pens and whatever I need that's in here. And what's nice about this is it's got a attach point. So I took it off specifically. I actually attach it to the front of the bag here. Adds a little bit of weight to it. Uh, adds a little bit of girth to it, but it works great whenever I want to add and carry something. And I don't want to put it in here because I don't want to get it wet based on the ice or the ice blocks that I use. I figured I wanted to go ahead and look at a couple other items based on this product itself and see what people are thinking of these other products. I don't have these. I'm not reviewing those independently of. I'm just giving uh, statements of opinions related to the Amazon reviews of what they found related to these other products. First one is, as I'll show up in here somewhere, maybe even down here, is the Arctic uh, Soft Pack, $86.99. And throwing a couple pictures around, I'll show you what the picture looks like. Uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and play some of the features, as you can see. 
uh, based on the cooler itself. And then additionally, the star rating basically for the Arctic cooler. The next product was the Otterbox uh, Trooper 12 at $199.99.99. Um, again, some of the pictures that I'm showing here. Uh, the basically the features of the product itself and then as well the star review and lastly is the Pelican Elite 12 and this guy is actually four cents cheaper than this guy the Pelican Elite is $249.95 this is 99 again uh, wherever you look you might find something a little bit different so on the Pelican uh, appears like this uh, it has these features and then as well the star rating for the Pelican Elite 12 and one of the main points I want to state about this is again I'm only reviewing this I'm just giving you options of other coolers that uh, seem to be somewhat comparable in size uh, and has possibly a comparison in features and or uh, much better price point in some cases, but uh, it's for you to choose. This is, again, what I'm looking at here. Who's it for, right? I mean, it can be for hunters and campers. Uh, in some cases, those guys will be taking larger coolers so that they can last a little bit longer, but it might be maybe you're going on a day hunt, maybe you're going fishing. Um, you could be camping for one or two days and you don't want to take a giant cooler, but you need something to keep some of your food cold for a few days. Uh, this, this, this is probably something that'd be perfect for that. Road trips. This is my bad boy with road trips. Um, I actually do have a larger Yeti, um, hard side cooler, if you call it, um, that I do bring on some of my longer road trips or whatever, or if I need more uh, capacity. But for the most part, this bad boy goes with me almost every trip. And this is what I take when I wanna drink some beverages while I'm driving. And say, let's say a five hour road trip, uh, like we're going to the beach. For us, it's about five or six hours away. Uh, take that trip down the road, and on the way that you're driving down there, I could have a couple iced coffees in there, you know, uh, some waters, some Gatorade, you name it. Uh, it holds it and it does it awesome for me. Um, outdoor workers. And what I mean by outdoor workers is guys that work on a construction site. Again, making that same reference. Many people. This is really beneficial as a lunchbox for a lot of people who are, you know, who are going to work at a place that doesn't have a refrigerator that, or that doesn't have one that's easily accessible. And a lot of times in that feature, that points out to be someone who is working on a construction site. And all there is is a bunch of dirt and maybe some uh, foundation and some wood and that's it. There's nothing to plug in. There's maybe no, a few generators, maybe... Uh, you know to run a few tools, but there's really nothing there for them to store uh, their uh, food and I actually have seen a few reviews where people have used these for their own lunch boxes and construction sites um, Anyone who needs cold food or drinks without the refrigeration I know that's so bland, but that falls into the same point is uh, You're going out to uh, a soccer tournament as an example a baseball football tournament um, You're going out for a good portion of the day uh, this is easily transportable. I tell you as an example, you go to a soccer tournament, you got a team playing on one field, uh, you win that game, you lose that game. Uh, sucks if you lost, I'm sorry, but if you win the game, whatever, you know, you're done for the, for, the, for the moment, but then you've got another game one or two hours later if you're playing one of these tournaments, and then you go and play the next game, and the next game is, you know, seven or eight fields over. So you've got to keep being mobile, and you don't want to carry and lug around a giant ice cooler uh, if you're just dealing with you and, and the wife or husband or whatever and, and a kid or two, this guy's great for that. Also, um, again, <laughs> a lunchbox for someone who does not have a refrigerator. I guess that's quite redundant that you do not have a refrigerator. All that being said, I keep reference, referencing lunchbox. This is not a lunchbox. This is a cooler that... I use for a lunchbox, and to be honest, there are a lot of people that are using it for the lunchbox purpose. Uh, it's about the perfect size. There's also the Flip 8 for, you know, smaller amounts of food or whatnot. Uh, but what I like about this for me is, is that I can get my lunch packed in here. I can even put my coffee in here. I can put, uh, I put my coffee in an insulated mug so it doesn't uh, cool down. 
so it stays warm. I will put it in here. It will the exterior will be ice cold, but it'll still be hot coffee. Uh, also, I'll have a additional you know juice bottle in there. Juice bottle like a juicy box. No, um, individual orange juice bottles. We put I put in there. We have in here. Also, I have a Gatorade bottle in here. I'll have either maybe a couple sandwiches, a stew, uh, a, a soup, uh, a salad. Not all at the same time. But main, mainly, I'll have my main course of my lunch, basically. It could be the soup or the stew or the salad uh, or something thereof, a sandwich or two. And then additionally, I can fit uh, maybe a salad in here as well. Uh, there's a lot of room in here. And, and for the most part, what I do have, and I'll show a picture in here, is I didn't buy the Yeti Ice Block, but I bought a cheap version. And what's really cool about the cheap version and the Yeti Block, if you buy those, that's fine. I'm just saying is... I have three of them and I rotate them and that bad boy will last. It'll stay pretty solid all the way through a, an eight to 12 to even a 14 hour day. When I come home, that thing is still really cold to the touch and the product in, in there, like some of the things as an example, like the Gatorade is one of the last things I'll drink on the way home. That thing is still very cold. Overall review, basically, uh, we'll go ahead and display what I think there's the main bullet points. You know, it's ease of cleaning. Uh, it's a great lunchbox, if I haven't said that before. Um, great quality build. Again, this guy's two years old, and I'll get a little bit more into it after this. Uh, Long-lasting. It's uh, Ice Life is, this, uh, this might be a negative or a positive, but the Ice Life is subjective to your zipper function. So let me get to that. Why is it a positive and why is it a negative? I've had this thing last almost three days with ice, the proper ice ratio to beverage or food. Um, and then I have either not had the right, correct ratio or more importantly, that a lot of people don't realize is if you do not zip this thing all the way up, you have a small vent. You have the possibility, let me get that vent right here. You have this small hole and if you do not fully seal that zipper all the way across that vent or that hole, it's not a vent hole, but it acts as a vent hole. If you do not get that completely closed, you have the possibility of introducing air and also having cold air escape. Uh, that's thus being transplanted by warm air and causes your ice to potentially melt faster. Uh, I've experienced both. I've had this thing and, and eight or nine hours later, I've had the ice be completely melted that I put in there. Two things that I might say as a factor, number one, as you hear a lot of people who will do some of the reviews, they'll say that they just have the uh, cold shock, meaning they have beverages that are lukewarm, regular temperature, even hot. They've been outside a little bit, they throw them in there, they pour in a bunch of ice, and the ice does, is, does its job trying to bring that temperature, that beverage down, basically. Uh, it's not really specifically employed for that, but you understand the concepts with heat and cold as it tries to transfer and get that heat uh, dissipated, the ice will eventually melt. And the speed in which it will melt is based on, you know, how warm the product is and how much work energy is f put into the product to get it to a specific temperature. And in many cases, you may have an overload of the ice ratio, incorrect ice ratio, meaning too little ice and too much product to cool. And in the end, the ice will melt before it actually gets to as cold as it should be. And I've had that situation. Um, you do the proper ice ratio, you do try to make sure you chill whatever product or even have frozen product in here where you expect to use a day or two later. And then if you're lucky, right, it's done what it's supposed to and it's probably thought out as you need depending on what you're doing. Um, you know, frozen steaks, I don't know. Um, maybe you're going to do a barbecue grill sometime later, who knows. So um, the main full, I guess, follow-up would be that... Some of the drawbacks, they don't outweigh the benefit to this. Um, it's hard to open. Uh, the ice life is subject, as I said, based on the zipper. Um, it's quite expensive, and you have the potential of breaking the zipper. Again, the reviews that I saw, people had for four months or less where they had broken the zipper. I will tell you one thing, that that is basically the speed in which I operate the zipper. I don't... Uh, beat up this cooler. I don't uh, mishandle it, mistreat it. It is an expensive cooler and I want it to last for years and when I open it that's about the speed in which I open the zipper. I don't try to force it, I don't try to damage it and I have no issue with the teeth on this zipper. Every single thing in here works as if it was brand new. 
So, two years later, uh, I'd ask you, what do you think? I've shown some pictures based on the Yeti itself, uh, brand new pictures from the website. The only thing that I will say that looks a little bit off is this is the back side. This is what rubs against my leg when I'm carrying it. And when I'm carrying it, I usually wear black or dark pants at work. And all this is, is just rubbing against my pants. It discolored. And in fact, it didn't discolor, it is discolored. It's a transfer of some of the dye probably from the black pants that I'm wearing that transferred onto the bag itself. Nothing else is wrong with this cooler. Everything is locked in and as it was when I first got it. All the seals look perfect around here. Um, everything is as if I would say that I bought this only a couple of weeks ago. This cooler looks like I bought it only a couple of weeks ago. And it's two years old. It's, a, it's almost two years old, let me say. Almost two years old. This cooler will literally sit at my workstation, at workstation, where I work, my desk. It'll sit basically right there on a filing cabinet right next to me. And it sits there all day. And I will have a small snack in the morning. I will have my lunch at lunchtime. And then I'll have another small snack or a drink or beverage. Drink is a beverage, right? Or snack. And I will, I will be in this thing at least three or four times a day. I will also tell you this. Here's an added kicker to this. This thing does such a great job that when I get to work, my coffee cup's in here. Told you my coffee mug, my insulated coffee mugs in here. I will open this bag up when I get to work, and I will tell you I work constantly, uh, ten plus hours um, of my own, my own choice. But it's you know I work a bit, many times ten plus hours. I have a lot of activities I have to do. I come into work a little bit early, and I have a lot of work to do throughout the day. But what what's what's my point? Get to my point is when I get in there, I pull out my coffee mug. And I'll show you a picture here of what my coffee mug looks like. It's a Starbucks mug, and it fits in here perfectly. It sits about yay high within the bag. And when I get it into work and I open up the zipper, I pull out my coffee mug, and it stays like this the entire day. Uh, so I'm not even giving it its best opportunity to stay ice cold as long as it does. And by the time I get done at the end of my day, like I told you, the Gatorade is the last thing I'll take out for my, uh, my trip home, and it's still cold. Yeah, it could be colder, but it, I, I leave this open for 10 hours, and I still, based on how it fits in here, stays ice cold. Beautiful. My final impression of this bag is after two years, I find nothing wrong with this bag. Uh, I, I think it is worth its money uh, in the long run. Uh, it is worked flawlessly as a trip bag, day trip, overnight, three-day trip, uh, cooler, and as well as my daily, as I say, my daily driver for lunch. I love this bag. Uh, I would, if, I, if this bag failed, tore apart, was damaged, uh, I'd get another one. I have not used the Pelican, the Otterbox, or the Arctic uh, at all. Um, and I have only purchased this, but this is my belief and my feeling related to this product. The only real negative, like I said, is that it's only a cooler. You can't put anything else in any little pockets to hold uh, something that you may want to hold. And you know, in a lot of coolers and a lot of the products I just showed you pictures of, they have those independent and small pockets. That's probably the, the drawback the most, I think, of this. Uh, but I've had the, the Sidekick for so long and used it, it, it doesn't affect me because I purchased another product for it. So that is basically everything related to this cooler itself. I would love to hear from you. Uh, in fact, please let me know if you have this product yourself. Um, if, if you feel that there's something different, maybe I missed something, go ahead and do me a favor and put some comments down there. Give me a like if you liked it. If you don't like it, go ahead and thumbs it down. I get it. But if you do kind of give it a down, tell me why. Tell me what you think. Without further ado, uh, please, please, please hit that like button. Uh, or dislike button, and then also hit the subscribe button, please. Peace. Got it.